I'd ask you about the uh, issue that Senator Toomey asked you in the conclusion in the report about the reduction essentially in the labor participation rate that you've predicted as a result of the Affordable Care Act. Um, are you concerned at all um, when you look at this reduction in the labor force in terms of the impact on the subsidies that will cause some people to either leave the workforce or work less hours, as I understand your report? Um, did I understand it correctly? Yes, that's right. Okay. Um, who, who will that have a more disproportionate effect on, lower wage workers or higher wage workers? The change in labor supply will be primarily by lower wage workers because they are the people who are facing the largest change in incentives under the Affordable Care Act. So are you worried at all that the incentives could have a discouragement also on upward mobility? Because if there's a relationship between the amount of subsidy that you receive and, and whether or not you will continue working or perhaps seek higher employment, could that become a discouragement to upward mobility? In other words, do I take that promotion or, or don't I for, for lower wage workers? And we want to encourage more upward mobility. Uh, y yes, Senator, I think the, the, the provisions of the Affordable Care Act that we studied reduce the incentive to provide more labor. And that can be reducing the incentive to work more hours or reducing the incentive to work harder in those hours or to do other things um, that would advance one's, one's labor earnings. So is it fair to say one of the concerns we should be keeping an eye on here is that uh, the structure of the law could reduce some incentives for upward mobility, in other words, people seeking to go sort of up higher in the workforce, depending on how, the, this, based on the structures of the subsidies. That, that's what I'm trying to understand. So, so I think, Senator, that the particular provisions that I've talked about um, would, as you're suggesting, uh, reduce upward mobility in that way. But I want to be very careful not to make that conclusion for the Affordable Care Act as a whole, because we've not done that particular analysis. And the provision of health, subsidized health insurance to lower-income people may also affect their upward mobility, and we simply haven't analyzed that. So I think these particular provisions that we're talking about that reduce the amount of labor supply do reduce the incentive for people to move up the earnings ladder. But I don't want to, I don't want to suggest that we've drawn that conclusion for the Affordable Care Act as a whole, because other aspects of the provisions could have different effects, and we haven't studied No, that. and I understand, and I wouldn't ask you to draw it as a whole, because we don't really know yet, with the changing landscape, with the executive orders, exactly uh, when things will be implemented on the whole. So I can understand why you'd want to qualify your answer. Appreciate it. Thank you, Thank Senator. you.